Hello guys, how are you doing? Your boy Crunchy here today. We're gonna have a look at your teams. And normally what I do is I go to Twitter, I check every single one of your squads and I tell you which one I like, which one I don't like, or you should improve. So yeah, let's get right into it. Now, if you find value on this by the end of the video, don't you dare forget to follow. And if you are here, don't forget to leave a like. You know, it helps a lot. More people are gonna watch this and more people are gonna get information from this. So let's get into it. First team, uh, well, actually, Hamza, I already reviewed your team last week. Um, but yeah, this week you have a different one, which is interesting. I would recommend... I don't like I, I don't like Sergio Roberto at all. I know you bring Walker as a super sub, but I, I like this. Wow, this is actually really interesting. I like the attack. I like the meat too. I like the fact that you bring Quadrado uh, sentiment. But I really, really dislike uh, the fact that you make two subs as soon as the game starts that's no good that's no bueno bro because then if you want to change stuff you know you're gonna have a harder time and um, later on because you won't be able to bring as many subs and then my guy dark knight here he has an insane squad i remember when i looked at it i told him that i don't like verna and that he should improve mukiele as a right back um if possible maybe what i would recommend now looking at it again is grabbing a uh, mendy playing him right back and then making his left back someone like i was gonna say regulon i actually don't think regulon is that bad so you could do that or you could do another french right back actually you could do rusilun no rusilun wouldn't get the yeah you can do rusilun you could do rusilun you could you can do rusilun left back who is really good him right back and then you switch uh, the icon to the left side and you have a great team believe me do that the Rose de Lune. He's great. Going on next, we have my guy Connor. Connor, Connor, Connor. Um, he has Rodrigo with Veron. I don't like Veron. Uh, Goldson and Tavernier. Uh, Tavernier is decent. The left side is decent. Like, I think Godson, I looked at him, I remember. Is he Godson or Goldson? Because I'm calling him Gold, Godson as if he was a flipping god, right? So, my guy Goldson, right? Overall, he's not a bad card, but the pace is a bit slow. If you are Scottish, you know, my guy, if my guy Connor is Scottish, which he definitely is, then I'll leave this right side. I don't like Beron, but if you got Beron, you got Beron. And then Casemiro is a player that really needs to be improved. Just get the young, bruh. Just get the young there. Just get the young, 100%, man. Now, 14 and 0. Wow, that's really good, Jacob. Let's go, man. What's up? This is a really interesting squad. I would say the upgrade I want you to do is I want you to grab Mukiele, play him center back. Oof. I reckon. Oh, wow. Okay, this is rough because I guess you use Zakaria center back. Wow, this is a really good squad. I would say, personally, I would use Mukiel as a center back just because he's actually an upgrade on he's actually a big 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 upgrade on 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 Klosterman. and then i'll get him bubble because i've used him bubble bro and i have to tell you this card has nothing this card is really good with anchor i've used him and he's really flipping good the passing is really really poor but like as a card i really enjoyed him as a right back i have to say Maybe you can keep it. Maybe you can keep this. You said the thing with Bundes is that they are lacking the right back. What I would like you to do is have another right back, but the only one is Mukele. We need to wait for EA to bring like a nice Santiago Arias or a better Limer or something like that because um, yeah, you really need a. a I really want Mukele to play center back. That's what I'm trying to get at. Now this midfield and attack is decent again. It's not my style. I prefer more meta stuff. But if you want to go with Kramaric, who is a good cam, if you use him cam, then okay. The, uh, what I cannot see here is a striker. Maybe you use Navri. It's just that Bundesliga is a bit limited. Like, I don't even know what to tell you what players to try and get in the future for your squad. Because, like, say for example, I'd tell you Costa. Yeah, but you can get the same with Sa Sancho, right? Mm, Costa is a bit better than Sancho though. Now, Royce, this is a card that you could 100% bring into your team. I wouldn't recommend any version of Halandino. So that's something that you wouldn't bring. And then Forsberg is a good card. Savitzer, you have the 85, so you play the game a lot. Velaravi, you did not complete him. He would have been a great card. Even if you did or didn't. Oh, there you go. RTTF Clusterman in the future. That's it. That's it. That's all you can do. RTTF Clusterman and Davis in the future. I think Diaby is good. 
if you need a winger, but he has two weak fit. So he's only good if he runs in a straight line. Malong would have been a great card for you to complete, but you didn't, so nothing I can say there. Cool. Wow, that was hard. Next, um, my guy with a 4-4-2 in game. Um, again, I have to repeat myself. I dislike Werner. I think now you should go sell Werner and get Sonaldo as a striker. That's a well, well, well better card. This midfield is dope. Um, whenever you can get Kante, he's a massive, massive upgrade on Sissoko. Especially because he's used everywhere, bruh. He's used everywhere. And you already have a Kolonki. You know, Pogba is a bit clunky, not that clunky, but you already have someone that's stole in midfield, so you can afford it. If you can afford Kante, get him, and then your center back. Personally, if I had Van Dijk tradable, what I would do is I would sell him, I will get Joe Gomez instead of Van Dijk, and then I will uh, upgrade other areas because I think Joe Gomez and Van Dijk will give you the same, especially if you don't play drop back. If you play drop back and you need like a big defender with a big, uh, like a, a massive defender that has a big hit box so that he can you know use AI blocking more than it's fine but if you play usual football where you're gonna get counter-attacked a lot you're better go for pace so I'll recommend either Walker and then having Pope uh, keeper or as I said just get Joe Gomez and then the money you save you spend it on a good person like you can get Son and then you can get Kante so that's just like a hundred percent an upgrade on your team right there and then but i with i would recommend shadow to be honest 432 one we have rodrigo and then we have valverde with a questionable right back a hundred i'm telling you right now a hundred percent just get mendy right back dude just get mendy right back he has a five star weak foot if you don't have him as a um, if you don't have him as a left back, you can 100% get this guy as a right back. He has a 5 to weak feet, he can pass with either feet, so you're going to have no problem using him as a right back. I, I recommend Anchor, or if he's going to be on lower cam, you can just put Shadow, so when he's on 7, he still gets the a, a 98 pace, but 95 is good enough anyways. I like the fact that you got Rodrigo, I like him again. And as always, I'm not the biggest fan of, of Werner, unless you use him on the wing, which is fine. Still, 3 to weak foot. I think you're better off just saving those coins and getting a um, Mora. But yet again, if I'm honest with you, like there's people that use Vernon against me and they, they destroy me. So if you're one of those that's really good with Vernon, keep him. But it's just that Mora has better dribbling. He has better, I think it's better pace. Even on a low cam, you can put him on the wing with Hawk and he's a great card. The thing, my issue personally with Vernon it's just the price you pay like 100 oh 90k now okay that's a bit less and then you have a good player in front of gold but he cannot pass and the pace the dribbling combo for his height is not the best and if you use him on the wing you're losing those skills so that's why i prefer moda but again completely down to you my guy i'm just giving you suggestions this left side is great and i love son and i love kante so you have a great team 4-3 to 1 here Another decent squad. Like, the defense is really flipping solid. I wish I got Mukiele, and I think Alessandrini is also a great card. 100k, you know, I think it's a bit... Maybe he should have been 60, 70, but at the end of the day, it's the start of the game. It makes a lot of sense. They make them a bit, you know, a bit higher than usual. Now, the, um, Ben Yedder is still a great card. I've used him. I think Rashi is an insane card. You get lucky with that champs card. And then in the future, I would say just for Fred, you just, you know, instead of Fred, you know who to get. Kante. Get Kante instead of Fred. Um, even if it means ah, it's it's rough because you're going to lose Kemon. You're going to lose Kemon on Alex Tejas. And that's not good. That's not good. But Kante is a massive upgrade on, on Tejas. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe even play Kante Cam, play Pogba Centimit there, lose a bit of now. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Upgrade Fred. Find a way to upgrade Fred. That's what I'm gonna tell you. That's it. I used Fred and I I liked him, but Renato was 10 times better, and I'm sure Kante is gonna be a hundred times better. Now this team, I don't like teams like this, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like I don't like when people use these formations because there is too many links going to too many players. Makes it hard for you to upgrade in the future. I would say Anchor on 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 on, on Semedo 100%, and then I don't like Salah because he's just too expensive for for what he offers. Let's see how much Salah goes for. Every time I see a Salah, uh, it's like 
he's not a bad card when he plays against me he destroys me but you're paying 300k if you're not egyptian if you're not a diehard liverpool fan just get moda he's gonna do the job he's gonna do the job bro literally try both you're gonna tell me oh yeah they can do the job uh mode is a bit less unpredictable so if you're used to like cutting inside and shooting with your left foot it's not gonna be the best but you just have to get used to playing a bit different there you have a good striker maybe a winger maybe he, your cam and then again just change this and with the coins you're saving just get kante for him thank me later this side is great your team overall i like it now I think this is the last team, or we might look at two more. Uh, Sudhi, again, oh wow, Shadow on, on Gomez, Anchor on my guy um, Semedo, but the full defense is good. Don't forget, you know, I, I still feel like Baran is a great card, way better than Ingle, a huge upgrade, so I would recommend that. Then I like this too. It's a good, that's a good, you know, that's a good combo. And then your striker, well, I guess you you play four two three one with him sent to mid with um, Bruno. I would recommend again this another one. What I would say, I think Kante is perfect there because I know I did a comparison once, and it made no sense that Kante is more expensive than Allen because they are basically the same card. The thing I like about Allen over Kant, about Kante over Allen is the pace. Um, Kante has a lot more, right? He has like a, a five, five, four more or something like that. That's the only that's the only difference between one and the other. You're paying for the pace and you're paying for uh, the responsiveness and a bit more defending. But other than that, like the difference is not that huge. So I would say I would say whenever you can get Kante, he's just too cracked. And yeah, I like I like, I like Bruno. I like Bruno sentiment. That's a good, really good choice if you play four two three one. And then this is the last one, Oli. Actually, I'm gonna also check uh, Orasi because I'm already here. Sanchez. I'm not the happiest man alive with Sanchez. What I would recommend most of you do is you get Bisaka. I would recommend you all do get Bisaka as a center back. Give him a chance, bro. Give him a chance. Let me know how he goes. I'm telling you, I know a lot of people that use him center back on Semen Camp, and he's absolutely unreal. He will be better than Sanchez theoretically. Um, he has better defending, lower aggression and strength, and you don't lose anything. He's worth, he's 3.8k. How much is Davinson? Is Davinson like 3k as well? Like, it's, you you try them, you tell me who you prefer. I reckon he's going to be better than Davinson. He's space here, less defending, less strength, but overall, in defense, he's going to do the job. Just as good as him, if not better. But shout out to Tejas because he really needs it. And please... Um, get rid of Fabinho, both Fabinho and Havertz because I feel like both of them Havertz is too tall with low agility and balance and Fabinho is too slow so if I were you I'll get Wijnaldum here with the coin yeah Wijnaldum here because you have the coins and then for Havertz I'll get I'll turn I'll turn him into a center forward and I'll get a Sun striker and then a left mid that's good I'll get a left that's good that can play cam or something like that. Or I'll get another cam. I don't know. I think I've said before which players to get for Havertz. It's just rough uh, to do it out of my head. Normally, I tell people to get Moda, but you already have Moda. Maybe even Gucci. No, because you need a cam. So, yeah, I'll leave it to you. Just try and find someone that's shorter with better agility and balancing. If you guys have an idea, put it on the chat. Put it down below. Put, uh, put it on, on the comments down below. And then this is the last team. I think player. I know you saw him again my views on solving a player is not i don't like it Um don't rely on that because you really need three subs on the second half to bring a centimeter striker or a winger in a camp or a winger Um so when you don't do that it puts you in a rough spot so yeah mokiele closerman galaxy alessandrini this is a great great thing there and then i love Zakaria as a car he looks insane i think as a sentiment he's a bit mm, he, he he could potentially work better as a center back but you know you can still use him as long as you put someone that's good on the ball and i don't think your is good on the ball i think you have a rock in me it's, it's too too much of like a rock 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 midfield where possibly in the future if you could have like the young or something like that would be better for you because they are just overall better cards uh, to dribble with you know that's that's basically what i trying to go with when i have two sentiments one that's like Zakaria and the other one that's like the young the other one that's a bit more a bit more responsive on the ball but it's okay you know you can keep your ente. it's fine if you if you find if you can work with them work with them and then 
you say, I don't know who you sold Lea for. But well, yeah, overall a great squad. Make sure you bring a striker on. That's what I'll do. I'll bring Dembele on. If I were in your position, I'll bring Dembele on. That's what I'll be doing. Cool. So yeah, bros. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to leave it there. I love you all. See you all. Goodbye.